Yeah, what's up guys, Roshan's at Alaska, just talking today about our debut album Lost Isles. So the next track on the list is Blood Brothers, and right at the very start it comes in with a really sick riff written by Adam. Yeah, that song sort of started from a riff I've been playing around with for a while, it was all sort of like on the same string, it was very like... Very uh, Spanish for Spanish, Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just like multiple <laughs> pull-offs on the one string, and then uh, yeah, it was just known as the, the Spanish riff for quite a while until we started developing it into an actual song. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why we call it the Spanish riff, because it wasn't really that no, Spanish no. at all. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, we converted it into the, well, tweaked it to be Blood Brothers, but we called it June 16th yeah, idea. Yeah, that was the transformation date. Yeah, June 16th. That was before we any vocals. Before <laughs> anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. I just adapted the riff a bit and then Chris threw the uh, blast bit over the top. Yeah, it had to have a blast on it. Yeah. As yeah, soon as I heard it, it so bad. Sounds so sick. Yeah. 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 It's interesting actually, because like, you can jam that blast, of course you can jam the blast out with one hand, but then when we came to the practice room, it was just a bit quieter and not as consistent. So then I did the weird bringing your one hand down thing for it, which kind of keeps it sounding literally like the record, and then I guess, live, which is sick. And then I guess it just builds up to the, the main vocal hook of the song, uh, Taste the Blood of You Brothers, yeah, which so is killer live. I know, it's yeah. 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 bring it back at you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy, and then the breakdown afterwards with the guitar riff and everything Great, like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's sort of just like, write, write the most Grebo riff you can think of. <laughs> <Literally> <laughs> we'll stick a high pass filter over it. And it's yeah, so yeah. yeah. it's no, so sick as well. Opening with Blood Brothers as well, that's like the first song of our current set list. It's like, especially if the crowd haven't been broken yet, it's so great to see everyone shout and taste the Blood Brothers back at you and then yeah. just go mad. Yeah. I think the lyrics for the whole of that song are really cool as well. Yeah. Like they're quite different to the rest of the album. They are. With the spit yeah. thing as well, you know the spit in the song? Yeah. That was oh, yeah. actually yeah. James spitting into yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was it a plastic, I think it was a plastic plate. Yeah. Yeah. Like when he did like the... At first it was yeah. a plastic plate, yeah, yeah. but we could find a cup, so yeah. I was literally <laughs> just too, too much spit on the plate. <laughs> Stood next to the microphone just going... <laughs> I remember I came in as well at one point to the booth and I was like, oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> just loads of speed. Yeah, that was cool. But yeah, no, going back to the lyrics and stuff, yeah, you are right. They are uh, slightly different to the rest of the album. I mean, um, you know, they pretty much just talk about an older sibling, a brother, um, that leaves home, you know, for whatever reason, and leaves your parents and yourself behind. Um, you know, it's very fictitious, you know, it hasn't happened to me personally in my life, but um, I've taken it from other experiences in life and things like that that I've seen from friends and other family and decided to write a song on it. So, um, for me, like, the most substantial part of the song is the outro um, with the uh, four line lyrics. Um, and I think they, the ones that, you know, cut as deep as they can, you know, raise me up for when you were gone, taught me to take no shit from anyone. Um, and it's just about, you know, being brought up. Yeah. I love the outro as well, just because we like we bring that polyrhythm back in, like the tapping thing from earlier. Yeah. It's just so nice to have it. Like it kind of feels like it really resolves and like wraps up the song so well, like musically and lyrically. I think very, it's got a lot of flow. Yeah, track. it's very bouncy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. super big yeah. jam. <laughs> and uh, that's Blood Brothers. <laughs>